Hey you guys, I hope you are doing well. I wanted to bring you a video on how you can increase your credit score up to 60 points and better within two days by employing this strategy. Now you don't have to remove one negative item in order to see this type of jump. Now, um, if you're new to my channel, I bring you content on how to improve your credit score no matter where you are on your credit journey. So, um, I'm also giving a seminar on August the 7th. So, with this seminar, I'm going to teach you how to get more credit card approvals even with bad credit. So, I'm going to be teaching you how to deal even with um, improving your credit score in that seminar in different ways so you can get more credit card approvals. Now, just a warning on YouTube, a lot of content creators, uh, it's a lot of scammers coming on our channel, using our pictures, answering questions, offering you to contact them at a WhatsApp number, I am no longer giving credit consultations. So if anybody reach out to you as such, it is not me. So if I'm responding to your comment, you'll see my name highlighted. Click on that. You can see the subscribers match my channel and you know that is me replying to you. So let's jump into this tip. Now with this, you don't have to remove any negative items in order to see this quick improvement within two days but one some some groundwork for this to work for you you cannot have any negative new reporting within a 90 day window that's very important because anything negative that hits your credit within 90 days it just automatically brings your score down and it is just not much you can do to improve that without that negative item being removed that just reported. This does not count for collections that's been sitting there over 90 days or a charge off that's been sitting there over 90 days. But let's say you have a late payment that just came for a credit card on our account. You will have to wait 90 days in order to uh, apply this strategy. It could possibly work um, after 60 days because then it will roll off in the third month where you can apply this strategy. But it's best without that 90 day window. You don't have to remove anything negative for this to work for you. So simply, if you have credit cards, you will, this is, um, if you're a person without a credit card, um, this primarily would not be for you, but you can check out my other videos. And if you have credit cards, you can check out the other video I'm going to put in my description on another quick way to increase your credit score. But with this, majority of people have credit cards. If you don't have a credit card, your score, score is really low because the credit system is driven by unsecured lines of credit. If you've been following me, you've been hearing this tone. This is why I bring you lines of credit and especially pre-approvals so you can get lines of credit to help your credit score. Now, people don't understand credit is an algorithm. So it is just a computer generated system and you just got to know the factors and you got to know certain timing in order to make your credit profile look better. So one thing people uh, lack to focus on, they're always looking at payment history because payment history is 35%, the biggest chunk of your credit score, the biggest factor. But what they neglect, utilization, is the second largest biggest factor it's only five percent difference if you can master these two just learn how to manipulate those two categories is 65 percent of your credit score and the quickest way is to focus on that utilization category and you can improve your credit score really quickly with the next update 
to the credit bureau on your accounts. So you have to learn. That's why I said I'm not credit repair because most credit repair companies get paid only off of disputing consistently because that's they're getting paid monthly. So with this strategy, especially people that starting off, they got little small credit cards, your utilization can kill you even if you have larger credit cards. And you might not even be close to max out. You might still be under 30% utilization, but you don't know that that's taking, tanking your credit score by huge points. So the key is you got to get your overall utilization down at or below 7% utilization. So overall utilization. You will see your score jump up immediately. Now, what you further need to do, especially with Experian, they do not like a lot of credit card, even small balances on the numbers of credit cards. I thought that that would be better, but I'm starting to work with my clients and I see they like to see most of your utilization if you have it on one card, not spread across. They don't like you having a number of balances on a credit card. Even if it's a small balance, the algorithm do not like that. So for this strategy, what you simply want to do is find out what your statement date is on your credit card. If you're like me, a lot of my statement dates are my date of reporting is at the beginning of the month along with my statement date. So the statement date is when the payment date is due. And then you have a reporting date. In order to find out what your reporting date is, you can look at Experian and other sites. It will show you what day each individual card report. But you can also call your credit card company directly to find out where they report the new balance to the credit bureaus. So usually it's a two day window. So what's very important for you to do is to pay down that card or pay it off. If you got one card with a large balance or a, a pretty large balance and you really got to hurry up to get your score up because you're trying to qualify for an apartment, maybe a car, even if you're going for a home that you want to improve your credit score really quickly, look for that, find your statement date and you need to pay it down before that date and especially before it reports. Because if you can pay that card down to about 7% for your overall utilization. If you have other small balances, either pay them down or pay them off if all is possible. You will see your credit score shoot up by the next reporting date on that card. So you can see it work like this. I have seen with Experian, you'll have one card that I have one that reports on the 5th. I'll boom, pay that one down. Say if you don't or pay it off. If you don't have, uh, say the money or it falls in between your pay period, then focus on that one card. It's going to report. You'll see your score adjust. You can then, if your pay, you know, your paycheck come in. If you're looking at the timing on that reporting date, say the next card, one of my cards is by the 10th, then you can go and pay that one down when that money comes in so you don't overwhelm yourself. So if you learn how to focus on those dates to pay those cards down, you can transfer your credit score really quickly. And especially if your cards is all lined up at the beginning of the month. And what you can do is just time it with your pay period. So you, what you wanna do, instead of getting overwhelmed, like I said, I have one card that reports on the 5th, another one around the 10th, for instance. So I'll aim for the one on the 5th and either pay it off or you can pay it down extremely low. 
And then when your next pay hit, you aim for the next card that updates around the 10th. So I'm going to pay it off by the statement around the 8th or the 7th. And you will see your score go up immediately. So you can employ that strategy so you can change your credit score quickly if you need to. So if you have any questions, you can reach me at my website, direct your questions there. But this is a quick video to give you a quick credit hack strategy on how to increase your credit score. And also hard inquiries can hold you back. We give a free hard inquiry removal package at my website. So if you have questions or comments, you can leave it in the video. But if you have something private, you really want to ask me, you can hit me directly at my website and your question go directly to my cell phone. Okay. Be blessed, everyone. Bye-bye.